Hello guys and welcome to another review here from the Optics Trade. Today we'll be reviewing a pair of binoculars made by Leica. This is Geovit HDR 10 by 42 They're laser range finding binoculars. Leica were the first to ever produce la laser range finding binoculars for the civilian market. That happened in 1992. The model that was released then was called Geovit, just like this one. So you can see that the name that we're talking about has quite a long tradition. Before we start talking about the HDR series, we have to say a little bit more about the HDB series. So HDB binoculars, also Geovit, come with a unique ballistic calculator that allows the user to program his or her own ballistic curve. Now with the help of the micro SD card, the user can transfer the custom set ballistic curve to the laser range finding system of the binoculars. This is of course a great feature, but most hunters do not need such, do not need such advanced technology. For most hunters, so let's say 90%, laser range finding binoculars with the equivalent horizontal range function will do just fine. And these binoculars do have the EHR, so the equivalent horizontal range capability. For hunters, EHR is especially useful when aiming at targets that are located higher or lower. Now when shooting at such targets, um, a, can, a kind of change ballistic conditions apply. This device, so the HDR, uh, Geovit, calculates the equivalent horizontal range using the measured linear distance and a correction factor which is based on the parameters angle, temperature and pressure. Now, these binoculars allow the user to turn the EHR function on and off. The reading will allow the user to compensate for the bullet drop. The EHR in these binoculars will only be displayed from 10 meters to 550 meters for safety reasons. Now, they also feature a scan mode. If you press the measure measurement button, so the measurement button is this one here and press it again to hold it, the device will switch to scan mode. Uh, once in scan mode, the distances will be displayed continuously as you do the panning and hold the button. In scan mode, the EHR value that we were talking about previously, if turned on, is only displayed after the last measurement. Now, of course, using the scan mode will result in greater power consumption. So the, the last generation of Geovit, so Leica constantly updates their Geovit binoculars, the last generation has the capability of measuring distances up to 2500 meters, which is extraordinary. So um, the updates are basically just uh, in the field of the range finding capabilities, so the distance of measurement. Um, we believe that probably the the updates are software related. The Geovitso um, range finding binoculars are really um, stand out in the field of range finding binoculars and the HDB version, so the one that has a ballistic calculator integrated, has the best, almost best uh, ballistic calculator on the civil market in the field of range finding binoculars. You can see that these are quite long, so they're 177 millimeters long uh, and they're 143 millimeters wide when fully extended. They are not really light, so they weigh approximately a kilo. They're from magnesium, which is a great, up, a great uh, addition, so great material. Uh, magnesium makes them very durable, very robust. The surface is rubberized for a better grip and better feel. You can see that they feature an open bridge construction here and as a result they can be held with a single hand which is great when observing. So this is a big plus for these binoculars. The focusing button is here. It is a little bit inconvenient in, in an inconvenient location. You have to put, um, move your hand a little bit back from the 
optimal position to access and to actually rotate the focusing button. But not a major issue. Field of view is 113 meters on 1000 meters. Let's talk a little bit about the battery compartment. So the battery compartment is here. You can be, the cap here can be unscrewed with a coin or a special tool. And uh, once this cap is removed, you, uh, a CR2 battery has to be inserted. And a single battery in, in uh, classic conditions will hold uh, for about 2000 measurements, so, which is pretty nice. Now let's pay a little more attention to the design. You can see that it has an interesting design. Uh, the tubes are not straight, they're a little bit curved. The reason, the reason for this construction is in the prisms that are used in these binoculars. This device features Perger Poro prisms, they're patented by Leica. And these prisms are one of the main reasons why the Geovit HDB and HDR have such superb optical qualities. So they have a really high light transmission rate, low levels of chromatic aberration, now, to have a high light transmission rate is really rare in the field of range-finding binoculars, but these, of course, stand out of the crowd. Optically, they are really superb, and perhaps we can say that really a low amount, low number of range-finding binoculars on the market can match these. They also, I already said that they are made from magnesium. They, of course, uh, offer great build quality. Leica used high quality materials on the inside and on the outside. There are two buttons on the device. Um, with this one you can manipulate with the settings while this one allows you to measure distances to the targets. They are different in shape. As you can see this one is a little bit indented. This one is a little bit more protruding. And uh, this is great because you can actually uh, tell which one is which just by feeling them. So when you're observing, you do not have to uh, stop observing, look at uh, so and look on the surface to see which button you have to press. You can just observe and simply feel which button is which. So this is also a great feature. Now it's time to analyze the eye cups. Uh, let's see how good they are. Leica is known for quality eye cups. And when you feel these eye cups, you can tell that Geovit, of course, is no exception. Uh, they can be stopped in multiple positions. They will hold the position really well. They can, they, when, uh, rest, when you rest your eyes on them, it's really convenient, convenient feeling. Um, so they have seven positions, I think. They are rubberized. It really is a high quality feel, offers firm support. Definitely, I would say, among the best eyepieces in the binoculars market at the moment. The, then we have the diopter setting, which is on the left ocular. The radical focus is on the right ocular. It is marked with a red line. The diopter for your eyesight is marked with a white line. Um, in our case, so the radical focus will um, enhance the focus of the illuminated display. Let's talk a little bit more about the magnification. So this is a 10 times magnification. So this bino these binoculars will be a great choice for those who shoot on long range distances and are mostly made for observations during the day. For those to whom precision and detail are more important than low light performance. 10 by 42 is a better choice than 8 by 42. But for those who want to have a better performance in twilight, the 8 by 42 will be better because of the greater exit pu pupil. What about the coating? So there is a hydrophobic coating on the external lenses. Like I named this coating Aquadura. Um, which is great, it prevents dew from accumulating on the lenses. Then there is um, another coating called high durability coating and it is applied on the lenses as well 
to protect them from abrasion and to enhance the light transmission rate of the binoculars. Now let's move on and say something more about the scope of delivery. So what you get when you purchase the HDR Geovid binoculars. Of course you get a pair of binoculars and as we said they are of really high quality. You get a bag with a Leica logo on in which you can stash the binoculars. They look really nice uh, and very convenient for use. Then you get a lens cloth to clean the external uh, part of the lenses. You get a warranty card and in which you can see that with Leica Geo we do get five years of warranty. Then you get a proof certificate which actually there is a claim um, by this you have the uh, you know that the before you got your Geovit it was had to pass a rigorous testing procedure so uh, various professionals had to check that everything is uh, as it should be before uh, it was delivered to the store then we have the uh, instruction manual that is available in many languages languages in it you'll also find the technical dat uh, data data in the this table of specifications you also get a battery of course and rubberized so uh, made out of rubber protection from for both the ocular and the objective lenses and you also get a neoprene strap with a Leica written on it so quite a wide array of different things and um, the price of course is also of the interest uh, the, the 2700 version so the latest model of the Geovit series costs 2600 euros and is a little bit uh, and is approximately 400 euros cheaper than the HD um, B model with the ballistic calculator um, and the, the latest model as I said is capable of displaying distances up to 2500 meters or 2700 yards now we have come to the end of this review, so let's talk about, let's once again point out the advantages and the disadvantages. The advantages are, so the, the op optically this is really superb and perhaps uh, on the civil market at the moment these are the best optical, the best range finding binoculars as regards the optical quality among all the range finding binoculars that you can find on the civilian market. Uh, they, since they're uh, light transmitter, uh, since they're, these are range finding binoculars, you obviously don't expect such a high light transmission rate, but this really stand out as regards it. So they're really only a little bit worse than those that do not have laser range finding capabilities, but the, the differences are really minimal. These will perform great even in twilight, especially the 8x42 version of these binoculars. Then also the great quality eyepieces, the build quality, the fact that it's made from magnesium, um, so the open bridge construction as well, so that allows you to hold it in one hand. And for everyone that does not need the, the advanced ballistic calculator, which is the majority of hunters, um, they really all they really need is an EHR function, so the equivalent horizontal range. And for a 400, you, it will be pointless to spend 400 euros more if you really don't need the advanced features. Um, so the Swarovski um, is, for example, 500 euros more expensive, and it also only offers the EHR. So um, Leica is great competition to that particular binocular, so the EL range. Um, the last generation, so as I said, measures up to 2500 meters of distance. So the same as other versions before it, it is same in all other aspects except the uh, measuring distance. Uh, and it's um, for now in the field of range finding binoculars, really Leica is ahead of other brands. So these are, were all the positive sides. Now there are really almost no disadvantages, but some are there are there are some, and I 
do have to point them out. The focusing knob is the first thing that it could be, for example, located here. It would be much more convenient for the user. Then also the, the size, it's a little bit huge and it's a little bit heavy. But these are, these are all minor issues if um, considering that the other qualities are so superb. We can conclude that these are superb range-finding binoculars. It is hard to find anything that is not perfect and to anyone who is going to who is considering buying these you will not regret the purchase. These really are a great pair. So uh, we have gotten to the end of the review. If you found it useful, um, hit like, hit subscribe. If you have any additional questions, you can leave a comment down in the comment section or you can also send us an email and we'll be glad to uh, give you a reply. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next review.